when we all, every single one of us is married in here, when we all propose to our wives, what do we do? Bruh, art. <laughs> Get down on one knee, man. Got down on one knee, right? When we pray, most of the time, what do we do? Get down on the knee. Because, and, and the reason that's as important is we get out on the knee because we're showing that sacrificial, that humility that, hey, I'm willing to serve you. So as law enforcement, as law enforcement officers, what are we? Public servants. But for me specifically, for me, taking a knee was far more than what I think most people are viewing it is right now. Taking a knee for me was mm -hmm. my outward expression to the community that, hey, look, I'm here to serve you and I'm dying to myself as a police officer and saying that your needs are before my needs. Taking a knee for me is that, hey, look, I ain't got to humble myself and I have to acknowledge that we're not always going to be right as police officers. Taking a knee for me is that, hey, there are going to be some trying times dealing with law enforcement in the community, but you have my word that I will sacrifice everything I can to put you before myself. Mm -hmm. So the reason that's important is because that protest day came and there was a point in time where they all took a knee. And mm -hmm. as hard as it was for me, knowing that what all other law enforcement officers were going to think of me, God was telling me, are you going to bow before me? Or are you going to bow before men? Come on now. And so I took it upon myself and said, you know what? I'm going to take a knee, not for what they think it is, not for what their, their personal beliefs are, but I'm going to take a knee because I bow before God which in turn is bowing for, for the people that I serve to know that I'm going to die to myself and put you guys first as a public servant to you because that's what law enforcement is all about. Mm -hmm. And so the reason I bring that up is because I wanted to give a different perspective of this whole taking a knee thing because it's important to know. I think when we stand and as officers, when we continue to stand, I understand we want to stand for what's right, but sometimes standing for what's right means you need to take a knee for what's right. And because standing almost exerts or exudes that pride that I'm not willing to die and say that I'm wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. And we have been wrong as police officers lately. We have in, in many situations, not always, not most of the time, but we have been wrong a few times here recently. And we got to be able to die to ourselves and say, you know what, I'm wrong. Yeah. And mm -hmm. your perspective on that, you know, is it is something that needs to be shared, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, oftentimes a lot of officers, they are not willing to take that knee because, oh, well, I don't support Colin Kaepernick. Mm -hmm. Well, the way you just explained it, you're not doing it in support of, Cal of Colin Kaepernick. Not you're at all. You're doing it as an act of humility before the one who created you to do the job that you're doing right now. Exactly. And expressing, you know, your heart and understanding of what servanthood really is. Mm -hmm. So if you're taking a knee for servanthood, and an act of humility to show the community that, hey, not only am I with you, but I understand it is my job to, to protect you and serve you. That's a powerful message. And that's what it is. And that's, mm. God gave me that epiphany, that revelation, like, hey, this is what servanthood is about. And so from a worldly view, everybody's looking at it. Oh, I'm supporting Colin Kaepernick or you're supporting that. No, we're servants. We're mm. servants. You know what's uh what's funny about that man is um you know I was I was down on during the protest Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And uh during one of those days they kind of all mixed together. Somebody was like screaming at me like like take a knee. Take a knee. And this was before like officers everywhere were you know doing it and and whatnot. And he's like you need to take a knee and show us that you support us. And I had to like have a conversation with this guy cuz I told him I was like look, like I'm not taking no knee. Mm -hmm. and he's like you don't support us blah 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 and i'm like look like if you want to see how i support you or if you want proof that i support you first and foremost i'm black right like like <laughs> there shouldn't need there shouldn't have to be a need for this right mm -hmm. like if there's anybody here who understands the importance of a black life i would say it is me right yeah <laughs> um but then the second thing is like you know if you want proof hop on my instagram like yeah. hop on my facebook and even deeper than that, go to the community I serve and talk to people, right? Mm -hmm. Like, they'll tell you, like, like, oh, yeah, AJ, you know, he paid my rent three months ago, and he didn't put it online, he didn't tell anybody, or, you know, he he, he gives my kids food every every time, you know, they ask for it, and blah, blah, blah. Um, 
so that was like the conversation I had with him. And it's funny you say that because I know I called you and we had like a conversation about it just because I was so uneasy with it. Like, you know, like people wanted me to take a knee and their, their, their request was show us you support what's mm-hmm. going on. Right. And I'm like, well, taking a knee isn't going to show the support, right? Like exactly. if you want to see the support, I'll be here on my day off like I was the other day, right? Yeah, like, exactly. Like that's me showing my support. Um, but you know, that's a unique, that's a very unique um, way of viewing it. And, and that's why you my brother, Ryan, because I seen another picture. You got to tell me what you think about this. I seen another picture. I don't even know where it was, but they had police officers washing the feet of protesters. Wow. Did you see that? No, I didn't. And when I first seen it, I'm not going to lie. I was like, this is crazy. Like, what is going on? Like, it's just such a surreal image to see, you know, a police officer washing the feet of a protester. I'm like, this is wild. But you just, you, what you just said completely changed my perspective on that. What you just said completely changed my perspective on that. 